Faith and this video is going to show how to do a front carry in a Becco Soleil or toddler baby carrier. The carriers are identical except for size. So the Soleil is going to be better for smaller babies um, and they can last well through toddlerhood. The toddler, as it, the name suggests, is a great option for toddlers and preschoolers. It's a much bigger carrier. My baby is two and a half and he actually fits well in both. I'm going to use the toddler for this video. He did not fit well in the toddler until about age two and even then um, there were times that the Soleil still seemed like a little bit of a better fit. So you're going to choose whichever one is a better fit for your baby. So I'm going to start by unbuckling and loosening all of the straps. So both the shoulder straps and the waist straps. And even though I'm doing a front carry, I'm going to start with the buckle in front, just so I make sure it's buckled well. There's Judah! <laughs> and you want to do it right at your natural waist. You're going to buckle it in the center, and then you're going to tighten it most of the way, leaving a little room so you can slide it around to the back. Now, normally you want to aim for your natural waist, right around your belly button. I'm actually expecting <laughs> Judah's baby brother or sister right now, so I'm going to go ahead and wear this under my belly. Some people do prefer to wear it at the hip, but the natural waist is a good option as well. So then I'm just gonna, again, leave a little bit of room so I can turn this around so that it's centered in the front of my body now. And now I'm gonna tighten from both sides. I wanna make sure this is good and snug. You wanna make sure that this is laying flat against your body in front so there's no room for your baby to fall between your body and the carrier. And next I'm gonna go ahead and grab my baby. Come here, Judah. Oh good, he brought extra pants. <laughs> so I'm gonna hold him centered on my stomach or chest, depending on the size of your baby. And I, he's already sort of adapting the spread squat position with his knees up and his tush down. I'm gonna go ahead and support him with one arm as I pull the carrier panel up, supporting him. And I'm gonna continue supporting him with one hand. I'm gonna take the shoulder strap over, and then I'm gonna switch hands. I'm gonna come back to the strap that's behind me. And I'm gonna bring it over here and using two hands I'm going to go ahead and buckle, and then I'm going to tighten it back. So now as you see, that strap is coming across my back, and we're going to make an X. We're going to cross the straps in the back. So now I'm going to switch. I always want to support him with one hand, so I'm going to bring this one over, and then switch to support him with the other arm, and then I'm going to bring this one behind me, and I'm going to go ahead over here, use two hands to buckle. and then I'm going to tighten it back up. And now that both sides are buckled, I can go ahead and let go. A couple tricks. One, I'm just going to get my hair out of the way. One, I like to lift up here and sort of bounce him down a little bit to make sure he's well seated bouncy, in the carrier. Bouncy, bouncy. Yeah, bouncy, bouncy. I'm just going to grab these straps bouncy, here so. and just get him comfortable bouncy, on my shoulders. Bouncy, so. And then I'm just going to support his weight with one hand while I tighten each side a little bit more to get it good and comfy right where I like it. So this is great. He's in that nice spread squat M positioning. He's close enough to kiss. I have the perfect fit adjusters on the shoulders here. I wear them tightened all the way, but that just gives you another level of adjustability for the carrier. They're great for nursing in a carrier if you want to just loosen it down to lower the baby and then tighten it back up. So this is how we do our front carry. The hood is great if he falls asleep. Um, when you're ready to unbuckle, the buckles are two-hand release, so it's an extra safety feature. So I'm going to press with one finger and then squeeze with the other side. And so now I'm supporting him as I do the other side. And I'm going to come around to this side, press, and unbuckle. And I'm continuing to support him because now the straps are both undone. And then take the carrier down and set the baby down. Thank you very much.